David was a truck driver, a hardworking man who lived by a simple code. Respect others, no matter who they were. His job wasn't glamorous, but it was honest work, and he took pride in it. That day, however, his patience was tested in a way he could never have imagined. He woke up later than usual, the blaring sound of his alarm clock failing to penetrate his exhaustion from a grueling week of work. His appointment that morning was crucial. If he missed it, he risked losing a big client. He jumped out of bed, threw on his clothes, and rushed to his truck. But as soon as he got into the driver's seat, his heart sank. Blocking his truck was a sleek, black luxury car. The driver's seat was occupied, but the car remained motionless, as if it were parked there on purpose. David honked his horn, a short, polite toot at first. Nothing. He honked again, louder this time. Still no response. Then the car's window rolled down, revealing a young woman with perfectly styled hair and sunglasses that probably cost more than David made in a month. Without even looking at him, she casually flipped him the middle finger and returned to scrolling on her phone. David was stunned. Who was this woman and what gave her the audacity to act so rudely? He rolled down his window, leaned out and shouted, Hey, you need to move your car. This is a no parking zone. The woman finally looked up, a smirk playing on her lips. She lowered her sunglasses and replied with a venomous tone, I'll move when I feel like it. You're just a truck driver. Learn your place. Her words hit David like a slap. He clenched his fists, anger bubbling beneath his calm demeanor. But he didn't want to escalate the situation. Listen, he said, trying to keep his voice steady. I have a delivery to make, and you're blocking me in. Please move your car. The woman laughed, a sound that dripped with condescension. Do you know who my father is? He could buy your entire company and have you fired with a single phone call. So why don't you get comfortable and wait? David's patience snapped. He stormed out of his truck and approached her car. If you don't move right now, he said firmly, I'm calling the police. That seemed to get her attention. With an exaggerated sigh, she put her phone down, started the car, and slowly backed out, making sure to hurl a stream of curses at David as she did. As she drove off, she made one last statement by sticking her middle finger out of the window. David shook his head in disbelief. This wasn't just rudeness. It was entitlement at its worst. But as he climbed back into his truck, he noticed something. The car's license plate. He quickly jotted it down. This isn't over, he muttered to himself. Later that evening, after completing his delivery, David sat in his hotel room, unable to shake the memory of the woman's smug face. He opened his laptop and decided to do some digging. Using the license plate number, he found the car was registered to an address in the city. A quick online search confirmed it belonged to a wealthy family, and from there he found the woman's social media profiles. Her posts were exactly what he expected. Selfies in designer clothes, vacations in exotic locations, and captions flaunting her wealth. One post caught his attention. It was a picture of her posing with the same car with his truck in the background. The caption read, some truck driver was honking at me like crazy today. It's a free country idiot. Maybe I'll ask daddy to buy his company and fire him. David's blood boiled. Not only was she unapologetic, but she was mocking him for trying to do his job. That night, David devised a plan. He wasn't out for revenge. He wanted to teach her a lesson she wouldn't forget. Using her public posts, he pieced together enough information to contact a friend of his who worked in the local police department. His friend confirmed the address tied to the car and the family name. David spent hours crafting a post of his own. He carefully wrote about his experience, detailing how the woman had treated him, but without revealing her name or posting anything defamatory. Then he uploaded the dash cam footage from his truck, which clearly showed her actions. The video spread like wildfire. People shared it on every platform, condemning the woman's behavior. Memes were created and hashtags like shock respect all workers and an entitled driver began trending. The next morning, the woman woke up to a nightmare. Her phone was bombarded with notifications. Her social media accounts flooded with hateful comments. At first, she was confused, thinking she had gone viral for something positive. But when she opened her accounts, her heart sank. People were calling her entitled, spoiled, and much worse. Her face was everywhere, and she couldn't escape the public backlash. Desperate, she tracked down David's profile and sent him a flurry of messages. Some were apologetic, 
Others were laced with thinly veiled threats. She begged him to take the video down, claiming it was ruining her life. But David didn't respond. He knew that once something was on the internet, it was nearly impossible to erase. Over the next few weeks, the woman disappeared from social media. Her accounts went dormant and her public appearances became rare. Meanwhile, David kept working, knowing he had done what he set out to do, teach her a lesson about respect and humility. Though the internet eventually moved on to other scandals, the woman's story remained a cautionary tale. For David, it wasn't about revenge. It was about standing up for himself and every other hardworking person who deserved respect, no matter their job or status.